فلقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ تَعَالَوْا إِذَا مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ وَإِذَا الرَّسُولِ رَأَيْتَ الْمُنَافِقِينَ يَسُدُّونَ عَنْكَ سُدُودًا فَكَيْفَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْكُمْ فَكَيْفَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ ثُمَّ جَاءُوكَ يَحْلِفُونَ بِاللَّهِ إِنْ أَرَدْنَا إِلَّا إِحْسَانًا وَتَوْفِيقًا أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُ اللَّهُ مَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ فَأَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ وَإِذْهُمْ وَقُلْ لَهُمْ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ خَوْلًا بَلِيغًا And when it is said to them, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ And when it is said to them, تَعَالُوا Come إِلَى مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ Towards what has revealed Allah وَإِلَى الرَّسُولِ And towards the Messenger رَعَيْتَ الْمُنَافِقِينَ You will see the hypocrites يَسُدُّونَ أَنْكَ Turning away from you سُدُودَ In aversion فَكَيْفَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ مُسِيبَتٌ Then how when befalls on them a misfortune بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِهِمْ With what sent forth their hands ثُمَّ جَاءُوكَ Then they come to you يَحْلِفُونَ Swearing Billah, in the name of Allah. In aradna illa ihsano wa tawfiqa. Not we intend except goodness and reconciliation. Ulaika al-lazina. Those are the ones. Ya'lamun lahu ma fi khulubihim. Knows Allah what is in their hearts. Fa'ariz anhum. So turn away from them. Wa izhum. And admonish them. وَخُلْ لَهُمْ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ خَوْلًا بَلِغًا And say to them, first I'm going to translate خَوْل First I'm going to translate خَوْل Then I'm going to translate بَلِغًا Then I'm going to translate فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ And say to them words penetrating into their hearts First I translated خَوْل Then I translated بَلِغًا Then I translated فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ and say to them words penetrating into their hearts. And then speak such words that will go deeply and make them think. <clears throat> I repeat the translation of these verses, follow it carefully. And when it is said to them, Ta'alo, come towards what has revealed Allah wa ilar Rasul and towards the Messenger, Ra'aithal Munafiqin, you will see the hypocrites. Yasudduna anka sududa, turning away from you in aversion. Then how, when befalls on them a calamity, with what sent forth their hands, summa jauka, then they come to you, yahlifuna, swearing billah in the name of Allah, in aradna illa ihsano wa tawfiqa, not we intend except goodness and reconciliation. Those are the ones who knows Allah what is in their hearts. Fa'ar is anhum. So turn away from them and admonish them and say to them or speak to them, khalan, first khalan, and speak to them words penetrating fi anfusim into their hearts. And say to them or speak to them words penetrating deep into their hearts. Phir jab kaha jata unse ao. جو نازل کیا اللہ اور رسول کی طرف جب کہا جاتا ان سے آؤ اس چیز کی طرف جو نازل کیا اللہ نے اور رسول کی طرف تم دیکھو گے منافقین وہ رک جاتے ہیں تم سے مو پھیر کر پھر کیسے جب آپ پہنچتی ہیں ان پر کوئی مصیبت بے سبب جو آگے بھیجیں ان کے ہاتھ پھر وہ آتے ہیں آپ کے پاس خسمیں کھاتے ہوئے اللہ کے نام پر نہیں ہم نے ارادہ کیا سوائے بھلائی کا اور موافقت پیدا کرنے کے لئے یہی وہ لوگ ہیں جانتا ہے اللہ جو ان کے دلوں میں ہے پس اعراض کرو ان سے نصیحت کرو ان کو 
اور بات کرو ایسی جو ان کے دل میں اتر جائے سو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی از ڈسکسنگ آن دا سبجیکٹ آف ہیپوکریٹس از وی سو دا لاسٹ ورس یسٹر ڈے بیفور وی کنکلوڈڈ دیٹ وین دے ویئر ٹولڈ ٹو کم ٹوورڈس دا قرآن ٹو سیک ریڈریسل فار در ایشوز بٹ دے ووڈ ریجیکٹ دا قرآن اینڈ گو ٹو تاغوت دو دے ہیو بین ٹوٹلی ایڈوائزڈ ٹو ریجیکٹ اٹ آل ٹوگیدر ان کو صحیح طریقے سے بتا دیا گیا کہ تاغت کی طرف مت جاؤ فیصلے حاصل کرنے کے لیے بلکہ قرآن کی طرف آؤ لیکن شیطان کے بہکاوے میں آئی آ کر پوری گمراہی میں دور چلے جاتے ہیں دے اسٹری اوے فروم دا اسٹریٹ پارٹ بائی کمنگ انڈر دا انفلوئنس آف شیطان اگین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ان دا سیم سبجیکٹ از ناؤ کنٹریننگ اینڈ سینگ وین دے آر ٹول ٹو کم ٹوورڈس واٹ اللہ ہیز ریویل دیٹ از سیک سولیوشنس فرام دا قرآن اینڈ فرام دی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم the hypocrites would not like to come they would rather like to go to the jewish scholars or the meccan khuraish to seek redressal for their issues because they know that the judgment may be given against them because there are a lot of hypocrisy in their hearts they are not sincere to islam what do the believers do the believers will always come to the quran to seek solutions for their issues and when they get the answer they would say samaina watana we heard and we obeyed that is the attitude and the behavior of the true believers whereas these hypocrites they will evaluate the merits of the case and they know when it's not going to be decided in their favor they would prefer to go away to the jewish scholars and find some compromise in their matters because they are all hypocrites see we need to be very careful islam does not just confined as i said even yesterday to a certain set of rituals and customs in matters relating to our day to day life also we need to be in conformity with the teachings of islam and allah subhanahu wa taala says over here that when they are told why are you doing that they would say no no we only intend goodness and reconciliation allah says allah knows them thoroughly allah unko achhi tarah se janta hai لیکن یہ منافقوں کو جو ہے تم دور بھی نہیں کر سکتے ان کو خریب بھی نہیں لے آ سکتے رائٹ دے آر سچ کائنڈ آف اسپیشیز اینڈ اسپیسیمنس دیٹ یو کینٹ تھرو دیم اے وے اور دا سیم ٹائم یو کینٹ برنگ دیم ٹو کلوز ٹو یو یو نیڈ ٹو کیپ دیم ایز اپ سیف ڈسٹینس اینڈ کانسٹنٹلی کیپ ایڈوائسنگ دیم ہو نوز ایٹ سم پوائنٹ آف ٹائم مے بی سم تھنگ مے ورک ان دا مائنڈ اینڈ دے مے کم اراؤنڈ دیز آلویز اے پاسبلٹی سو کیپ دا ڈوز آف advising them reforming them always open so allah says wa is hum far is anhum turn away from them that means ignore them don't pay give much importance to them and at the same time you get an opportunity keep advising them and speak such kind of words which will deeply go and penetrate into the hearts and make an effective change inside them now i say baatein jo hai un unse karo jo unke dil mein utar jaye dil mein ghar bana le aur unko sochne par majboor kar de So this is the best way to handle such kind of people who are not sincere to Islam or not sincere to any work of Islam for that matter. They're always materialistic in nature. They call themselves as Muslims. There's so many among us. May Allah protect all of us as well. Naam ke Musliman. They call themselves Muslims. But they absolutely have no sincerity and loyalty towards Islam or the Quran or the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They just flow with the tide. and wherever they find an opportunity favoring them they will jump they will jump to that side and barter away their faith in the bargain ye hote hain na munafiq allah hum sab ki iski hifazat kare ameen wa ma arsalna min rasulin illa liyuta bi iznillah walaw annahum iz zalamu anfusahum jauka fastaghfirullah wa astaghfir lahum ar rasul wa lawajadullah tawwabar rahima and not we sent any messenger mir rasul any messenger except that he be obeyed liyuta bi iznillah that he be obeyed by the leave of allah and had they when they wronged themselves and had that they wrong when they wronged themselves come had come to you then sought forgiveness from allah and sought forgiveness for them the messenger lawajadullah tawwab ar rahima surely they would have found allah acceptor of repentance rahima most merciful agarche ke wo jab 
ظلم کرتے اپنے جانوں پر اور اگر آتے آپ کے پاس ہے بخشش طلب کرتے اللہ سے اور بخشش طلب کرتے ان سے اور بخشش طلب کرتے ان کے لیے رسول تو ضرور پاتے اللہ کو توبہ قبول کرنے والا اور خوب رحم فرمانے والا سو so اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سیز ایوری میسنجر دیٹ واز سینڈ ان ٹو دس ورلڈ واز سلیکٹڈ بائی اللہ اینڈ وداؤٹ اینی ریزرویشن اور اینی ہیزیٹیشن یو نیڈ ٹو بی اوبیڈینٹ ٹو دا میسنجرس ایز وی ایز دی اما آف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ وسلم نیڈ ٹو بی اوبیڈینٹ اینڈ فالو دا ٹیچنگ آف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ وسلم وداؤٹ اینی ریلکٹینس اور ہیزیٹیشن اور ڈسکمفرٹ دس از ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ ان فیکٹ دا نیکسٹ ورس از ہائی از گیونگ فار دا ڈیٹیلس آن دیٹ سو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سیز اوکے واٹ ہیز بین کمیٹڈ ان دا پاسٹ یو کمیٹیڈ مسٹیک بٹ کم بیک ٹو اللہ سیک فار گیونس فرام اللہ and even the prophet sallallahu would seek forgiveness for you then in that case allah subhanahu wa taala is sure to forgive you for his acceptor of repentance most merciful galtiyan hote hain insaan se lekin allah ki taraf pura ikhlas ke sath rujoo karo toba istighfar talab karo allah zarur jo hai tumhari toba qubool karega kyunki allah hai hi toba qubool karne wala aur khub rehm farmane wala fala wa rabbi ka la yuminu hatta yuhaqimu ka fima شجر بینہم سما لا یجدو فی انفسہم حرجا مما فزیتا و یسلمو تسلیما فلا و ربکا دن نیور و ربکا بائی یور لارڈ اللہ قسم کھاتا ہے دن نیور و ربکا بائی یور لارڈ لا یومنون نوٹ دے کین بی بلیورز اور نوٹ دے کین ہیو فیت حتا یحکمو کا انٹل دے میک یو ا جج اللہ از ٹیلنگ until they make you a judge that means that they don't they until they make prophets also as the ultimate authority to decide so allah i repeat once again then never by your lord not they can become believers or not they can have faith until they make you a judge in what shajara bainum differences arose shajara means differences arose in what differences arose between them summa la yajidu fi anfusihim they not they find in themselves harajan any discomfort or reluctance mimma qazaita of what you have decided wa yusallimu taslima and they submit all heartedly or they submit with total submission phir hargiz nahi aapke rab ki qasam nahi wo iman wale ho sakte yahan tak ke banaye aapko ha hakim is par jo tumne اس میں جو اختلافات ابھرے ان کے درمیان پھر وہ نہیں پائے اپنے دل میں کوئی تنگی اس پر جو تم نے فیصلہ کیا اور وہ فرما برداری اختیار کرے پوری طرح سے فرما برداری آئی ریپیٹ دا ٹرانسلیشن دے نیور بائی یور لارڈ دے نیور بائی یور لارڈ ناٹ دے کین بیکم بلیورز انٹل دے میک یو اے جج in what differences arose between them summa la yajidu fi anfusihim they not they find in themselves haraja any discomfort reluctance or reservation mimma khazata of what you have decided wa yusallimu taslima and they submit wholeheartedly or they submit with total submission allah subhanahu wa taala says prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's position need to be understood very clearly next to allah the one who is most entitled to be obeyed is the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that's why allah says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu atiu allah wa atiu rasul obey allah and obey the messenger we can't show disregard to the teachings of the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam take it lightly oh it's okay only the quran is important no quran and the hadith go together hand in hand both are intertwined quran aur hadith dono ek dusron ka paigham milkar jo hai pesh karte hain isko juda nahi kiya ja sakta aur jo isko juda karte hain wo din se kharij ho jate that is why it becomes extremely essential that we understand the verses of the quran through the hadith of the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
and through his teachings and his traditions. So Allah is making it very categorically clear here. You can't become true believers until you make the Prophet Sallallahu the ultimate judge in all the matters related to your day-to-day -day lives. And if there are any differences of opinion, then you have to find the solution, if not from the Quran, from the authentic hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu And when, once you get the answer for that, what are you supposed to do? You should not feel any sense of discomfort, reluctance, or uneasiness inside yourselves. But on the contrary, you should accept it wholeheartedly and submit and surrender before it altogether. This is the کہ شریعت کے خوانین کے مطابق اپنے فیصلے نہ کرے اور جب فیصلہ سنا دیا جاتا تو پوری طرح سے اس کو ایکسپٹ کرے اس کو اپنائے اور دل میں کوئی قسم کی تنگی بے چینی نہ رہے this is very very important in any matter in any matter ولو أن كتبنا عليهم أن اقتلوا أنفسكم أو يخرجوا من دياركم ما فعلوه إلا قليل منهم ولو أنهم فعلوا ما يؤذون به لكان خيرا لهم وأشد تثبيتا وإذا لآتيناهم من لدنا أجرا عظيما ولا هديناهم سراتا مستقيما. see our love for the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم cannot be shown by doing some drama. Hmm? you know what I mean. But true love for the Prophet ﷺ is indicated by your obedience to his teachings. How much you take his teachings and his advice and instructions seriously. This attitude is condemnable. Maybe Allah has said Prophet ﷺ has said like this, according to this hadith, this is what it means. Okay, let's see. This is not allowed. Okay, if the Prophet also has said it, fine. Then there's no second opinion. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Walo anna katabna alihim Further, Allah is talking about the faith in the believers. And Allah says, Had we ordained upon them or prescribed upon them that kill yourselves which means that kill the guilty ones among yourselves or come out from your homes not they would have done it except a few among them and had they done what they were admonished with it surely it would have been better for them and it would have further strengthened their faith. Washadda tasbita and further strengthened their faith. Wala In such a case, surely we would have given them from us ajran azima, a reward great. Wala hadainahum siratam mustaqim, and surely we would have guided them to the path straight. I repeat the translation. And had we prescribed upon them fighting. Sorry, I had we prescribed upon them that kill your people, which means kill the guilty among your people, or come out from your homes, not they would have done it except a few among them. And had they done what they were admonished with it, surely it would have been better for them, washadda tasbita, and further strengthened their faith. And in such a case, laate and naum, surely we would have given them. From near us, Ajran Azima, a reward great, and surely we would have guided them, Siratam Mustaqima, to the path straight. Then, if we do it for us, that we have to kill our people, or we have to leave our homes, then we have to do it for us, because we have to do it for us. And if we have to do it for us, then we have to do it for us. Or Mazid Bada Deta Unke Iman Me or Mazid Bada Deta Unke Iman Ko. 
और ऐसे सूरत में जरूर हम देते हैं उनको हमारे यहाँ से अजर बड़ा और जरूर हम रहनुमाई करते हैं उनकी सीधे रास्ते की तरफ सो अल्लाह सुबह नौ इफ ऑल दीज ऑर्डिनमेंट वे सेंट टू देम We know pretty well that many of them would not have accepted these instructions because it was pretty uncomfortable for them, pretty tough for them. But when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's ordinances and instructions appear tough and difficult, that's where the rewards are also going to be given abundantly. Yeah, as long as you remain in your comfort level, well, for that little good that you do, even then you will get your rewards. But when you go out of the way to please Allah and follow His instructions, no matter if it be a little inconvenient but there only lies the rewards and allah subhanahu wa taala assures them of two things ashadda tasbita and the third is wala hadainahum siratan mustaqima it would increase or further strengthen their iman in allah and number two is it would fetch them a great reward not only a great reward but allah would guide them to the straight path that's very very important and when we want to remain firm in iman and wish to be on the sirat al mustaqim as believers then we need to follow the instructions of allah subhanahu wa taala in letter and spirit even though it may appear a little inconvenient but there only lies success victory and the pleasure of allah jo cheeze hame mushkil nazar aate hain par usi mein to allah ne ajr bhi rakha hai ramzan ke roze summer ke mahine mein गर्मी के मौसम में रखना दुश्वार है लेकिन उसी में अल्लाह ने आजर भी रखा है इसी तरह जिहाद फी सभी अल्लाह अल्लाह के राम में जिद्दोजहद करना अल्लाह के पैगाम तो लोगों तक पहुंचाना दीन की दावत पेश करना कुरान क्लास को रोजाना अटेंड करना कुरान से रहनुमाई हासिल करना अल्लाह और उसके रसूल के बताए हुए तरीके पर जिंदगी गुजारना इसमें काफी मशक्कतें होते हैं इसको इनकार नहीं किया जा सकता लेकिन एक मोमेंट की हैसियत से हम जानते हैं कि इसी में हमारे लिए कामयाबी है नजात है तो हमको जो है इसमें पूरे लगन के साथ पूरे यकसुई के साथ हम अल्लाह और उसके रसूल के आगे सारे तस्लीम खम कर देना चाहिए इसी में हमारे दुनिया और आखिरत में कामयाबी है सो थिंग्स विच आर डेफिनेटली इनकन्वीनियंट बट वी शुड नॉट कंसिडर टू बी इनकन्वीनियंट बट ऑन द कॉन्ट्री डू इट विथ पैशन बिकॉज वी claim that we love allah and his messenger right and when we claim to love allah and his messenger then whatever they have ordained and prescribed or instructed us should not be in any way any feeling of discomfort on the contrary we should enjoy it for we know and have firm firm faith that allah will definitely give us the best rewards and grant us success in this world and the year after that's very very essential to all to do with a kind of mental framework or the mental setup that we adopt whenever we do anything good and in that only lies allah subhanahu wa taala's pleasure and very important allah says wala hadaina hum sirat al mustaqima surely we should guide them to the path straight wa man yuti allah wa rasul fa ulaika ma alladhina annama allah alayhim min nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa shuhadai wa salihin wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa zalika al fazlu min allah wa kafa billahi alima and whoever obeys allah and the messenger follow this was very carefully very powerful verse whoever obeys allah and the messenger fa ulaika then those shall be with those an amallah had favored allah upon them among the nabiyyin prophets siddiqin the truthful ones the shuhada the martyrs salihin and the righteous wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa and what an excellent are these as companions zalikal fazlu min allah that is the bounty from allah wa kafa billahi alima and sufficient is allah as all knower jo koi itaat kare allah ki aur uske rasool ki to yahi log honge un logon ke sath jin par inam kiya allah ne un par nabiyon mein se siddiqin shuhada aur salihin mein se aur kya hi behtareen hogi aisi rifaqat ये अल्लाह का फजल है और काफी है अल्लाह खूब जानने वाला ओबीडियंस ऑल इज मैसेजर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू प्रिजर्व आर ईमान इट्स नो इट्स नॉट सफिशियंट दैट वी जस्ट से अशद अल्लाह अशद मोहम्मद इस्लाम 
orally proclaiming that we have become Muslims, it doesn't stop there. It neither stops with only performing certain obligations like Salah, Psalm, Zakat and Hajj. It also does not just stop with fulfilling certain obligations like Nikah or Talaq or the laws of inheritance in the light of Islam. It's much, much more than that. In every sphere of our activity in this world, we need to obey Allah and His Messenger, which means 24 into 7, we need to be true believers. Ek ek lamha bhi jo hai, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aur uske rasul ki itaat mein humari zindagi guzre. Karobar kare, to pure dhyanat dari ke saath, iman dari ke saath, pure lagan ke saath, amanat dari ke saath, satchai ke saath. We do business, let there be honesty, truthfulness. You are pursuing some professions or careers, be focused. You are an employee of a concern or an organization, work sincerely. If you are a boss, take care of your employees well. From the home front, be good to your parents, your relatives, your brothers, your sisters, your wife, your children. As neighbors, be an excellent neighbor. Be outstanding in your character. This is what is meant by obedience to Allah and His Messenger. Once a sahabi came to the Prophet and said, oh, oh beloved Prophet, I feel so comfortable and I really enjoy your companionship. Even when I go back home, suddenly I feel a desire in me that I should come and see you. I come running. And when I see you and be along with you, I feel so nice. But I have my own fears, O oh beloved Prophet. Prophet asked, what is it? The Sahabi told the beloved Prophet Well, in this world, whenever there is a desire for me to come and see you, I can always run and come and be in your company. But what will happen on the day of Qiyamah, when you will be in the highest abode in paradise and I will be in the lowest level, and if I would like to come and see you, I may not be able to do so. This thought is actually bothering me a lot. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the backdrop of this feeling expressed by the sahabi sends down this verse. Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how magnanimous, how merciful, how gracious he is. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't worry. The condition is but you should obey Allah and his messenger wholeheartedly. Shart is baat ki hai ke tum Allah aur iske rasul ki itaat karo. Allah and Rasul ek baat kare aur hum kuch aur kare aur phir bhi jo hai hum jannat ke aale mukham mein rehna chahte hain ye mukham na mumkin hai My wife says like this my children say like this my brother says like this my father says like this my mother says like this my peer sahab says like this my sheikh says like this keep everybody aside what does Allah and his messenger say that's it What have they made lawful what have they made forbidden what instructions they have given the do's and don'ts to be strictly adhered. After this uh, verse was revealed, not only that Sahabi, but all the Sahabas became highly overjoyed. Said, Oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the companionship of the Prophet and also the other Prophets and give us the companionship of the ones who are truthful and the foremost and the best among them who stands out in the list of the Siddiqin is Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. His character, his noble status after the prophets, the highest place any human being will get is the Abu Bakr as per the Hadith and the Sira. Then we have Shuhada like Hazrat Hamza anhu. And we have the Salihin, all the true believers and the righteous servants who will come until the day of Qiyamah. Along with that, the Prophet also added on and said, Increase your sujood. And also increase your nawafil salah. Two things Prophet said. 
in order to gain the companionship of such exalted personalities on the day of Qiyamah, along with obedience to Allah and His Messenger, also focus on increasing your sujood, your prostrations before Allah and at the same time increase the nawafil salah. So this is something which is a fantastic verse, a really very, very informative statements from Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah himself is saying, Imagine that we will be in the company of such exalted personalities. What more do we want in this world? That's what we need to aspire for. And by aspiring and dreaming alone will not work. We need to put ourselves into action. We need to put it into practice. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is the bounty from Allah. This is a gift and this is a great bounty from Allah if He can give you that companionship with such exalted personalities and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows every deed of yours, not only knows your deeds and keeps on record but also knows the intention behind it. I think we run out, out, run, out, out, run out of time. I think we stop here today inshallah. We'll continue with the rest of the verses tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing all of you with another some powerful verses coming up. So the Nisa by itself is a very powerful surah. Keep in touch. Don't go away. Just a matter of one minute or so, even a few seconds, we complete the dua and then leave. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept and help, help us to put it into practice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us obedient servants. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be aligned as messenger in all walks of life. Ameen. Wa afrut dawana. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil alamin. Subhanallah. Wa bihamdi hispanakallahum. Wa bihamdi kanashadu Allah. Ilahi illa anta. Nastaghfiruka. Wa tubu alaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.